Welcome to Fit Farm, a show dedicated to creating a better life through fitness and the grappling arts. I'm Joseph Aronson. I'm Jackie Baker. It's time to get jacked. All right, we're here, guys. How you doing tonight? What's up? Uh, Jackie just got done watching The Bachelor. I, we, man, I'm sorry. Another two nights in a row, TV like pretty much ruined our night, right? How? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess for Made you, my it was night good. Tonight. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, last night was kind of, yeah, but what was I mean, last night? Last night was the Super Bowl, but I oh, mean, duh. yeah, that's why we're coming to you guys so late instead of. This episode should have been out actually around midnight, you know, or, or early this morning. But you know, we got we got we uh, had other priorities. Yeah, we got tied up with TV and food <laughs> and stuff. So here we are, healthy Justin food. Justin Timberlake's course. performance. Yeah, um, we'll get to that. First of all, I wanted to talk about Saturday night before I talk about Sunday night. I'm getting confused. Okay, Saturday night. What was Saturday night? We had the Forsaken Warrior oh, and his girlfriend duh. Lauren Quinn. Yeah, that was awesome. Those two are are huge. Power couple for sure, oh, right? For sure. And uh, there was like no oxygen in this room. Yeah. They're in here because they're both just super nice, though. Super nice, humble, yeah. cool people. Super, yeah, super cool gym. They got uh, Chicago Barbell. If if any of you guys are in the area, definitely check it out. And actually, his aunt and uncle were here too because uh, I trained with his uncle uh, Rob. And uh, it was just crazy. Six people in this yeah. little office. So it, was, <laughs> it was funny. And they were getting all the angles. So they were walking around uh, recording, too. It was like crazy. ten cameras in here? Yeah, we had two cameras. We had the Facebook Live. We had his Instagram Live. We had the baby monitor. It was nuts. Yeah. So, but, yeah, that was a lot of fun, man. And I, I really wish, you know, they had more time because we talked to them for, what, like an hour and a half? And yeah. We had barely scratched the surface. Uh-huh. We could probably could have talked for two and a half hours yeah. or something. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous too when he gets to talking about his diet. You <laughs> Makes know. you want to be a power lifter, right? Yeah, I kind of want to be a power lifter just so I can eat whatever <laughs> I want. And you just want to eat and not train like a power lifter. I though. just want to eat and not train that hard. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I do want to train. I want to train. Training's great. It's good for you. Um, So, yeah, you guys be on the lookout for that. That's coming out next week. Uh, I think next Wednesday we're going to drop that one because that one was really long. We're going to have the audio we're gonna have video everything and now we could talk about sunday super bowl yes there we go super bowl sunday i'm so happy the eagles won yeah that was good i mean the underdogs won uh the heck i can't remember his name now the quarterback was the was like total underdog and uh-huh. he ended up being mvp and that was crazy i can't remember i was just talking about him earlier when i had jason out here for an episode and the nick nick i have to look I it don't up know. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. The halftime performance was awesome. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, I thought he did a good job. Yeah, there's no politics involved. No it's just politics, no nudity. Yeah, just a dude walking around dancing and singing. There's, I don't know how he could do that dance like that and sing. Oh my at the god, same he probably time. runs on a treadmill and like sings really loud for an hour or something, or yeah. just just dances and sings and <laughs> yeah, or he practices just like that. Does a lot of it, yeah. But uh, yeah, um. That was a good time, and then tonight was The Bachelor, so we're sorry that we're coming to you so yeah. late tonight. So we're, we're kind of like not... Your other priorities. Yeah, we're, our head's not really <laughs> with it tonight, so it's going to be a shorter episode, okay? You say um, that every week. It's going to be a short episode. It, it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> just like when I end it. That's how you always end it. <laughs> the short episode, because Joey talks nonstop, and I just butt in a couple yeah, times. Yeah, and Jackie cuts me off every day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you waiting for it again? <laughs> Um, so yeah, the Super Bowl is great. We do have, uh, we do have a winner for, uh, the first gift of February. So, uh, we're a little late announcing it, but, um, we did have, we did choose a winner. A a lot of reviews came in guys. We appreciate the support. (laughs) (laughs) Had a few people telling me they had a problem with, uh, leaving a review on iTunes or the podcast app and, Mm -hmm. uh. If you if you have a problem with it, you know, please send a, one of us a message. We can try to walk you through it. I know uh, I tr- <laughs> Jackie couldn't send one. You know, she was trying from her phone one time, and then I tried it from my phone, and it went through right away. And of course, I wrote my real name on it and everything. So now <laughs> I reviewed it myself because I mean, let's Good be one. honest, you gotta love yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't love yourself, how can you love anyone else? <laughs> and how can anyone else love you? So. Uh, Shout out to uh, our winner, um, Brick House Bill. If Brick you're House Bill, where are you yeah, at? Yeah, 
Brick, yep. Yeah, if you hear me, Brick House Bill, if you're listening or if you're watching on Facebook Live up here, send me a message, dude. I, that can't be your real name, so send me a message. Who are you, know, Brick House Bill? Yeah, yeah, the mystery man, right? The mystery man, yeah. <laughs> kind of curious who We tried to find you on Instagram, but we no, had no luck, luck, man. Ain't no Brick House Bill on there, but. Yeah, get a hold of us, man. You get your choice because you won the first week of February. Your choice of either the $10 gift card from Starbucks, the coffee tumbler, the free month at uh, Northern Illinois Combat Club and Fitness, or the powertrain tape. It's your choice. So, Those are some pretty good prizes. Yeah. I'm, I mean, for taking 30... nobody left reviews except for Brickhouse Bill. For taking 30 seconds to write a review, it's pretty good. You know, it's a pretty yeah, good prize. Yeah, especially a membership at a gym. One month for free. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. It's like a fifty dollar value or thirty or I don't know what he charges for the first month, but um, yeah. So that's that, and we have some other exciting news we wanted to announce. Um, we're both myself and Jack are on Patreon. I can I'll start with kind of how mine works, and then she can talk to you about hers. But basically, for mine, I have three different levels. Um, it's basically just people that want to support the the show. You know, you like what we're doing here. And you want, you know, to help us generate an income with it and be able to get bigger and better guests. You know, like the guest we had over the weekend, that was awesome. He's basically a celebrity in the powerlifting community. He's got, you know, the whole, the country, for, or the ugh, the record for the whole country in, in mm -hmm. deadlifting. So, I mean, that's a huge deal. And we want to continue to keep getting, like, bigger names out here. So, you know, with a little bit of backing, I'll be able to do that right now. 100% of this is coming out of my pocket, so it's just we're just looking for a little help there. We also ha I also have a higher package that actually gives back to the Patreon too. So if you're like you know wanting to spend a little more or get kind of your workouts in check or get a behind the scenes look at what we're doing because the video is recording well before Facebook Live or the actual audio, so you got a chance to to do that too, or you can go all out and. Uh, I think the highest tier is like fifty dollars, and you'll get a free T-shirt. You'll get the coffee tumbler. You get any like if if you have that for you know a few months, you'll get any new merchandise we get. You'll be the first one to get it, and uh, you'll get to stay up to date with all my workouts. You get jujitsu techniques from a black belt instructor. Actually, one new technique every month, so you get all this cool stuff. But uh, and Jackie can tell you a little about hers too. So. Yeah, so mine, mine's more just like uh, personal training stuff, nutrition. Um, I've been giving out a lot of free information on Instagram, <laughs> uh, nutrition stuff, workouts, and, you know, it's not free and it takes a lot of time. So on Patreon, um, I have like four, five different tiers, and uh, you're distracting me, Joey. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Your first you tier. Whole, whole episode on Facebook Live? No, just just probably the first 10 minutes, and we're going to cut it off. But go ahead. Your first tier was. Nervous. What? Did you, no one's even looking. <laughs> There's one view. <laughs> one view is Brickhouse Bill. <laughs> no. Where? Let me see. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so your tiers are what now? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Um, so, yeah, I got like four. I think I have four different tiers. Um. I, Okay, so I have four different tiers. The first one is just uh, mostly my workouts and videos and pictures, and you can actually follow along with my workout program, and that one's just like $10 a month. And then there's a nutrition part, customized macros, um, workout programs, instructional videos, recipes. There's tons of information, and it's for a super cheap price because if you want to pay for a coach that's going to give you all this stuff, it's like a lot of money. Um, so I'm kind of giving it for peop to people so at a cheap price so that I can still keep do that I can keep doing this still, and then um, it's a cheaper fi price so people can afford it. Great, yeah, sounds like a good deal. Sounds like uh, something a lot of people could benefit from. And basically, the same thing goes for you. I mean, like you said, this time consuming takes a lot of work. So yeah. it, mm -hmm. you know, you do need to balance it out. It's not like it's not like people think it only took you 10 seconds to take that video or that picture or whatever. There's hours of editing. No, and I like do a lot of research so I can help people out. I take I like working out without a camera, but, you know, I like helping people out too. So then I have to have you videotape me or set yeah. up a camera myself, and it takes a lot of time. And um, So, yeah. Yeah. So that, that's, that's the deal, guys. It's not – the video was a minute long, but I promise you it took – way longer <laughs> to record the so. editing yep. the getting ready for the video and 
mm -hmm. researching stuff and yeah. So we had one thing, just one thing we wanted to talk about today, and that was uh, that was the Super Bowl. The the big thing there is you got a guy like Tom Brady who's in his forties now, and in his forties. Uh, yeah, and he's still at the top, the elitist of the elite. And the reason for guys like that that can still go and and they can compete at the highest level is their training is basically periodized. It's set to a specific. Uh, <laughs> What do I want to say? I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank like you're here. Space and not like I me did. Now. I just spaced it, but it's set to us. There's a specific order like of a lost progression. Puppy dog. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's a there's a there's like an order of progression. It doesn't just start with hey, you're gonna do the same workout all year round, and uh, ev basically every, I think it'd be every eight weeks would be ideal for his his cycles to to change. So in the off season, he's gonna be. What's he gonna be doing? Probably putting on muscle to help, you know, protect his his, his body. You know, you're gonna put mm -hmm. muscle on for extra strength and this and that. Now, as it gets closer to the season, you're gonna change your routine up just slightly because now you're gonna be running a lot more. You're gonna be doing more interval training or intense training, right? And then, as it gets to the season, and it's actually in the middle of the season, there's probably close to no weights. Uh, the intensity, I imagine, is still there, but it's he's training even different. He's probably doing all reps, just throwing, hiking the ball, sprinting, things like that, no weights. So, I mean, people that are, are like athletes have to understand that your, your program has to be designed around your goals, okay? So you can't just go to the gym and do what the other guy next to you is doing and expect completely different results, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, like with, with the workouts you write out or with workouts I give to people, I try to balance them around their goals. Right? Yeah. Like if someone if someone wants to know what I'm doing, I'll tell them my workout, but you have to understand my workout is for what I want. It's not for what you want. Like when I – okay, better example because I don't know what Tom Brady's exact workout. When I'm training for a tournament, it's different, okay? Right now I'm just lifting – just got into a heavier lifting phase because I'm not trying to cut weight. I'm just trying to get strong. You know, mm -hmm. I want to be strong in case I want to take someone down or do whatever I want, and I don't have any tournaments coming up real soon. So – I'm just in a strength phase. Now, how that will look like as I start to cut weight, I'll probably go in, in more of a cutting phase. I'll probably up the uh, up the reps a little bit, so a little more volume. And then as it gets even closer to the tournament, I'm going to cut back from the weights even more. I'm probably only going to lift twice a week. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus more on the skill four or five times a week. So that's important. You can't do mm -hmm. the same thing all year round, basically. I mean, Oh, and your body adapts to it. Yep. That's why yeah. you have to always keep changing. That's why I always cycle a strength phase, muscle building phase, um, and like a cutting phase. And mm -hmm. you just keep keep uh, rotating those. Yep. Yeah. Every I think they say every eight weeks your body can pretty much fully adapt to what uh, the the yeah. stress you're putting on. Is it six weeks or eight weeks? I feel like it's six weeks. Six weeks. Okay. So even even sooner. So I mean, you can work out as hard as you want, but if you're doing the same shit every time. Your body's going to get used to it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to change it. I Especially mean, if you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, that's huge for a lot of these people mm -hmm. with their resolutions and stuff. And, yeah. and that goes for even nutrition and Yeah, diet. and I saw in the news today that over half of the people in the U.S. have already given up their uh, like weight loss goals or their workouts and stuff. One month in, they're already done. Yeah. So... Do they pay for like a year membership, but they just stop going, or they bought one month? I've known people that do that. Pay for a whole year, and just quit. Or after just a month. pay and never go back to cancel it. You know. Man, those are like the best customers if you want to yeah. get them, right? <laughs> they don't mess your stuff up. They ain't there ain't mm they're -hmm. dropping weights or being creeps or. If you guys saw our video, there's those gym creeps, you know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you got none of those. So how are your resolutions coming on since we we're talking about that? Good. I keep. I'm still doing them. Reading every day. That was one of my goals. Um, wake up early to pray, meditate, visualize. I've skipped a couple of days, but I'm still doing it. Sometimes it's just hard to get up early. You know. When well, it's to cold too, like it's been so cold lately, it's hard to get yeah, up. Yeah, I am just covers. ready for summer, aren't you? I don't know. It depends if I have to work. Oh a lot. yeah, yeah, that would suck. Um. But for I'm ready vacation. for uh, yeah. I'm ready for a vacation somewhere warm. Uh, anybody vacation ideas? Give us a shout out too. Somewhere warm. Yeah. So my resolutions are going 
pretty much to plan. You know, I've been lifting four times a week on average in jiu-jitsu at least twice a week. So I think that was what I wanted to be at. That's how I, where I am. I haven't signed up for any tournaments yet, but uh, there's one at the end of March that's kind of on my radar. We'll have to see how I'm feeling, though. Um, that's close. Couple, yeah, it's over a month still, but yeah, it's it's kind of like it's changing a, up your program for it though. Yeah, yeah. I might. <laughs> it's my weight's already where I want to be though. So I mean, really, I, I just have to up the cardio so I have my wind, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's just I don't know if I want to do it yet. It's a big one, and uh, where you is know, it at? Chicago. That oh, one we yeah. did last year. Oh, okay, IBJJF. Yeah. It'll be fun, though. Uh, I know a couple guys from the gym will go. Cristiano will go. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Otherwise, the resolutions are going good for me, man. Uh, you know, down like three pounds or something from New Year's because we were eating like crap on the holidays. So that was oh, easy yeah. to lose. Uh, How are you guys is going? Yeah. Are you guys still uh, following your resolutions or did you give up on them or struggling with them? You chugging along? Or do you need help with it? I mean, it's free to send one of us a message and ask a question too, you know, or, or I can send We're you. We're always motivation. trying to get people to ask us questions for the podcast too. So if you have any questions at all, just let us know. Yeah, because as you can tell, it's sometimes it's hard to come up with with material because you don't know what the listener wants. You know, I, if if you could give us a shout out, say, hey, look, I, I've got a question about this. If we don't know it, we'll research the crap out of it all week until Sunday's episode. Yeah, we'll do the work for you. All I have to do is listen. Yep. All you got to do is sit back, put my beautiful voice in your ears, <laughs> <laughs> sip on some wine, and listen to to Fit some Farm. Wine. We should drink wine when we do these. Oh, man. That would be a mess. We'd be rambling on for, rambling for 30 minutes. With our fancy wine glasses. Fancy Fit Farm wine glass. We need to go buy fancy wine glasses now. We can make Fit Farm wine glasses. Who would want a Fit Farm wine glass? I'm going to say... And then you can uh, sit down and listen to the podcast and take a picture of yourself with your Fit Farm, wi- uh, Fit Farm wine glass and then win something else. Yeah, we're going to have giveaways, by the way. Any people still listening because we're rambling. <laughs> 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 we're going to have giveaways uh, every week. Every week, and it's going to be... Um, just on re- reviews for the month of February. So if you're writing a review, chances are you're probably going to win because a lot of people won't take the yeah. 30 seconds to a minute just to write the review. And then a lot of other people are telling me they're having a hard time with iTunes to leave the review. So you leave us a review, you got it. You know, you're probably going to be the only one. You got your choice of prize too. So, and they're dropping Tuesday. Actually, I checked tomorrow? on the tracking. Yep. They'll be here oh, tomorrow. Sweet. So. Uh, shout out to Quan. He dropped uh, some cash off at the gym for me for a couple. Uh, Kenny grabbed one. So there's definitely, you know, there's a demand for him. You know, you put your coffee in there, and then, like you said, you can go run right to the toilet after you finish it. I kind of wanted to get one made with a little poopy emoji inside. That'd so, like, funny. when you drink the rest, you look down in there and you see the poop, you know, it's time to go. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a lot of places won't print inside, I guess, because some danger of drinking it or whatever. I don't know. Well, if it's, especially if it's hot. Yeah, some hot coffee, like Melt whatever. Melt the poop emoji and just drink the poop emoji. <laughs> drink some ink or whatever. That'll really send you the... <laughs> drink some ink. Drink some ink, dog. So that's it, man. I don't have nothing else to say. Do you have something else to talk about, Jack? I don't know. I feel like this whole episode was a ramble. We were rambling. We were rambling a little, but... I was spacing out. Yeah, I was too. were talking a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of late. It's uh, it's, we're uh, it's an off day for My us. My mind's all boggled from the Bachelor. If you guys are still listening, it was a mind-boggling episode. Mind blown. If you're still listening, there are a lot of good episodes coming up. Uh, we've got Dennis and Ariel dropping Wednesday. Jackie Nichols dropping Friday. We've got uh, Forsaken Warrior and Lauren Quinn dropping next Wednesday. So I mean, we've got a lot of really great stuff coming. I've got Jason dropping next Friday. I've got Tommy Woodruff coming out this Friday. So we got a lot coming up. Um, I know you, sometimes you listen just to hear our beautiful voices, but uh, it's going to be a hear change. Hear my little things. boy voice. Yeah, Jack and Joe, the little boy and the big boy. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, just keep an eye out, guys. And uh, real sorry for keeping it short tonight, but we're 
We're parents. You're we're tired. keeping it short. You're cutting it off. Okay, keep talking. You just I'll, put that out there, yeah. and now we got to cut it off. So. No, okay, it's cool. Keep going. No, we're just I'll, rambling I'll now. So right. we're just rambling now. So <laughs> <laughs> we're rambling. We're rambling. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hey, keep your eyes out. Wednesday's a real big one, I promise. Bye-bye. See ya.